In this video, we are going to discuss a couple of problems on the effects of stoichiometry on reaction rate. Okay, so let's look at the first question. It says the following reaction is carried out in a 4 liter vessel. The reaction begins with 8 moles of A and after 2 hours, 4 moles of A are left. Now we need to figure out what is the rate of formation of B. And the reaction that we have here is 2A forms 3B. Okay, so how do we go about this question? First things first, let's write down what the reaction rate looks like. So you can see that rate of reaction is equal to minus half into dA by dt is equal to 1 by 3 into dB by dt. So this would be how the rate of reaction looks like taking into account the stoichiometry of the reaction. Okay, now we can simplify this as reaction rate is equal to half into RA is equal to 1 by 3 into RB where RA refers to the rate of disappearance of A which means RA is equal to minus dA by dt and RB refers to the rate of formation of B which is dB by dt. Alright, so this is what the reaction rate looks like. Now from the information given in the question we can see that the initial concentration of A, A0 is equal to number of moles of A divided by the volume of the vessel which is nothing but 8 moles divided by volume of the vessel which is 4 liter so that's equal to 2 moles per liter after 2 hours what is the concentration a t where t is equal to 2 hours would be 4 moles of a divided by 4 liter which is 1 mole per liter now the rate of disappearance of a which is r a is equal to minus d a by d t which is nothing but concentration of A after 2 hours minus the initial concentration divided by the change in time. A T is nothing but 1 mole per liter and A naught is 2 moles per liter and delta T as we know is 2 hours. By substituting these values in this equation we get the final answer as R A or the rate of disappearance of A is equal to 0.5 moles per liter hour. As you can see, since A is disappearing, its concentration decreases over time. That means A T would be always less than the initial concentration of A, which is why it is important to account for this difference by placing a negative sign here, so that the final reaction rate is a positive value. Alright, so we got the rate of disappearance of A. Now how can we use this R A to find out the rate of formation of B? Let's see. So we've already written down the reaction rate as reaction rate is equal to half into RA is equal to 1 by 3 into RB, right? From here we get RB is equal to 3 by 2 RA. And by substituting the value of RA that we just calculated, we get the final value of RB as 0.75 mole per liter hour. Easy, right? So let's look at another simple question. It says, for a certain reaction, the rate of disappearance of X was 0.006 molar per second and that of Y was 0.015 molar per second. Whereas, the rate of formation of Z was 0.006 molar per second. Now, based on this information, we need to figure out the stoichiometry of the reaction. Okay, so firstly, let's write down the given rates here. So, here you have the rate of disappearance of X, disappearance of Y and the formation of Z. And from this we can see that the reaction should be something like this where X and Y form Z. Correct? Now we know that stoichiometry of a reaction is related to the rates at which the reactants disappear and the products are formed. In this case X and Y are disappearing to give product Z. We know that the rate of disappearance of X is same as the rate of formation of Z. So this means that the stoichiometry coefficients are likely to be the same that is 1 is to 1 ratio. So we can assume to be 1 is to 1 ratio. But what about Y? Here the rate of disappearance of Y is 2.5 times that of X. And how do we figure that out? For that let's compare these two. Okay. So the rate of disappearance of Y divided by the rate of disappearance of X is equal to 0 0.015 divided by 0 0.006. The units are same so they cancel out and this is equal to 2.5. So this means that for every 1 mole of x that is consumed we need 2.5 moles of y and only then we get 1 mole of z. 
that is 1 mole of x reacts with 2.5 moles of y to give 1 mole of z. And to express this ratio in whole numbers, we can simply multiply this by 2 to get the final stoichiometric equation as 2x plus 5y forms 2z. So this is our balanced chemical equation.